<laughs> I just want to know who you think you is trying to sit up and go places like who you think you is? Huh? Yeah. Who you think he is? Say stop growing. Stop growing. Tell him. Say stop. Stop growing. No more growing. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. You you kind of you kind of got lost with it. But Isaac be gone. Y'all should have just saw him. He was sitting himself up, pushing himself up, turning on his stomach. Where you going, man? Oh, it feels so good to be in the bed. Big bed. You got a bus. That blind bothers me so bad. This blind right here that Alexander broke. I need to stop being lazy and just go to the store and get a freaking blind. Or they might sell them in the office if I can get a little vertical blind. But that blind right there just drives me nuts. Alexander has broken every single blind in this house not every single i ain't gonna i ain't gonna i ain't gonna say every single he haven't but he's broken this these blinds the blinds downstairs in the kitchen wow. and the living room what about? and we're gonna have to pay for them once we move out if we don't get them fixed i mean you know still gotta pay for them regardless children you're not old enough to terrorize the house yet but you will be so you included kids are crazy this braid, my braids are just like too. I, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing to my hair, y'all, but I just kind of braided it down to get it out the way. I'm supposed to be doing a wig, a wig or a wig. I don't know what I want to do yet, so. And I just want to tell y'all about my eyebrow because I'm so sad. So I accidentally messed up my eyebrow, right? As you can see, it's just like, shoot, like all the hair up here. I just accidentally cut it off, right? Could you see this one? I have pretty thick eyebrows that go like choop choop. And then that one is like that because I accidentally cut it, right? It still has not grown back. Okay, and it's been like almost a month. Yeah, I cut it, accidentally cut it when I was in Michigan trying to arch my eyebrows and it was just like and it has not grown back. And I'm scared because I don't think it's growing back. Like, like it's literally just gone. So confused. I think it's growing back though, because I think it was worse than this. So I think it's gonna come back. It's supposed to be hair like right up and through there. Yeah, I think it's coming back, cause y'all, it was really bad. Like it was just like a thin little that was just going downwards. It was. Thank God for like eyebrow pencils and stuff, cause I would have been F U C tied. I would have been full up out here looking like. What you talking about? I ever had like a blah day where you just really like legit don't feel like doing anything. Like we laid in bed this morning until like 11 o'clock. It was maybe 10 o'clock. It was like 10, almost 11 o'clock. Laid in bed this morning, slept in, did not get dressed, had my pajamas on all day. Kids had their pajamas on all day. Like, I just, I let myself go today, okay? It's just hard. Alexander, what? What is you in this bus? Like you keep getting mad at the bus. What did the bus do? Bus? What is the bus doing? No, no. bus. Yeah, it's a bus. I know. Mm. You keep throwing uh, the bus and getting mad. Um, so. Um, beep, beep, beep. Um, I'm gonna be by myself for a month, and I get. I don't know. What am I feeling? I don't know. I'm just like. I'm gonna take this bus. If you keep getting mad at the bus. Damn it. I just felt a little emotional today. Because I'll be by myself for uh, 33 days. Uh, 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 uh. Careful. Careful. You want me to see? Put it down. Put it down. But yeah, y'all, single mom life for a month. The offer still stands if you want him. I think it's just like, what the hell is wrong with him? But yeah, it's single mom life for a month. It's just, you know, part of the whole army life, the whole 
the whole military shebang. It's just a part of it, you know. And it sucks. This is one of them days, you know, when babe comes home and you can just hand him off, hand off a little bit of responsibility onto another adult. But I can't do that because I'm by myself for a month. So <laughs> it was just one of them days where it was like, I need a break from just doing anything. Yeah, this is just army wife life, military wife life. Like deployments and stuff suck. I had like a blah day today. Really didn't do nothing for myself. <laughs> I cooked. I cooked and I ate one meal. Like I haven't been eating. I don't know what's. Yo, I really don't know what's been up with me. Like I just haven't been eating. Um, I had one meal today. I didn't have breakfast. Um, and then I cooked some chicken nachos and that's all I ate. I ate that for lunch and then I didn't have dinner. I had like an ice cream thing and some pretzels and that was it. I haven't been eating like the last couple days. I just haven't been eating very good. Yeah, man. This nigga, he done went and got the bus. After I just banned you from having the bus. Yes, you. And you gonna go and get the bus. You, you, you and this bus better not be fighting or I'm kicking both of y'all out. And you will sleep in your bed tonight. I'm being nice. I'm saying I'm late. Night night. night night. What you say, girl? You going night night? But yeah, I'm being nice. I'm letting my baby sleep in our bed. It feels Ash. good. I, I don't. Ash. Careful. Ash. Careful. Yeah. Ash. Yeah. Ash. Huh? Ash. Uh huh. I don't know what you're saying, bus? Bus. Okay. Uh, we, 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 uh, Military wives out there. Husband on deployment. I feel you, girl. And not even just that, but just to all the single parents. Like, I feel you, man. It's rough. It's rough. Especially when you got just like little kids that you have to like fully you know that fully depend on you and you gotta take them to the potty and oh lord potty training i don't even want to talk about that okay but take them to the potty and wipe their face and noses and just do everything it can definitely get what's the word i'm looking for i know what i'm trying to say but you y'all know what i'm saying it can definitely drain you because you just constantly on the go even like with a day like today how i was just like lazy it's like you still can't be 100 percent lazy because you got to take care of little people parenthood is a job okay like it really really is like it's the i always say it's the most blessed thing absolutely 100 percent with thousand percent the most blessed thing that i've just been like so blessed to be a mom but um yeah. Yes. It's such a blessing to be a mom, but it's definitely work. Like, okay. People can be quick to look in and be like, you know, your life is so easy and you don't do nothing and you get to stay home. It's a job. It's still a job. Like I saw this one thing. I was like, that is so true. It was like, even on your worst days, you still a teacher, a cook, a, um, and it just had like a list of a whole bunch of jobs that you, you still have to fulfill every day. Even like if you're having a bad day or you just really honestly don't feel like doing nothing. You don't have no energy. Or you're sick. Like it's hard. And like I said, especially like um being by myself, you can't just hand off. You know, you can't balance it out with another adult. You can't, you don't have that help right there. So that's why I said I feel for just single parents like... And my mom was a single parent and that's why I just like I got so much respect for her because it's like you you raise all badasses all by yourself to have raised three girls I don't even like I don't even want to think about how hard that was for her like during our teenage years 
sneaking out the house, trying to have little boyfriends over, trying to, you know, I was bad, okay? Like, I was bad as hell, so I just don't, I don't even understand. Skipping school, didn't want to go to school, had to call the, what the people is, the truancy officers on me a couple times, almost fell seventh grade or whatever grade I was in. I think it was like ninth grade. Almost fell school, like, had to go to summer school. Like, I was bad. I put, like, I put my mom through a lot. I remember she catching boys in the house. Like, I was just real fast, you know. Little T was a little hoe. I don't even, I y'all. Little T was a boy. She was a little thotty dotty, okay? Like, she was, <laughs> she, she had a lot of stuff going on, though. She had a lot of stuff going on, so she was, you know, she was tripping. It just makes me more appreciative. It does when I think about like damn like i do have to be like a single mom during periods of time while my husband is deployed and stuff like that but he you know he coming back you know god willing he coming back and it's like for single parents to just do it alone like, i'm just glad i said that because it just made me feel a lot better about my day and it's like it's okay you know it's okay next day it'll be better and and you'll be all right suck it up so i don't i, I can't even complain you know um, you can definitely let yourself have bad days, but you definitely got to pull yourself up and pull yourself out and remind yourself that no matter what, you still blessed. You still get another chance tomorrow, you know. A big boy, you're such a good big brother. Do you love your little brother? What would you like to accomplish as a big brother? Do you like being a big brother? No, I thought you liked being a big brother. You, oh, oh, oh. I'm shook. Up, it's like 5 a.m. for real. Um, I'm just getting some work done, editing some videos, and I'm just looking at my baby. We had a movie night, it was so much fun. We had a movie and pizza night. <laughs> they are not look at that. We had a fun little mommy and son movie night. Ordered pizza, we made brownies. I let Al lick the spoon. We watched um, Surf's Up and then Charlotte's Web. So we just had like a fun little, you know, a fun little movie night or whatever and camped out on the couch downstairs. And um, I, I was just thinking like how much I love being a mom to these little boys. They just, they my whole heart, like for real, my whole entire heart and soul. And they're just my whole heart and soul. Like, they, like, when I be talking about them bad mommy days, cause I try to, you know, I keep it real on my channel. I just keep it real about motherhood. Motherhood is not easy, okay? Like I be having my days where Al is working my last entire nerve. And you know, where trying to juggle two small kids is just like, it seems like the hardest thing in the world. And I just be like losing my whole head and stressing out. But moments like this, just, oh, well, I'm talking before it came up moments like this where I just get to look at them and we chilling and have fun. It's just like, oh shit. Hold on. Nothing compares to being a mommy. I'm a girl because I'm a girl. I just thank God for making me a mother. And I just woke up and said,
This is why I'm gonna be fat as hell one day. It's 5.24 and I'm eating brownies. They so good. Y'all, I have a confession. I feel like I got a problem. I really do. Because it's always like, I'll stay up late. It'll be like, from like 12 to 5 in the morning. And I'll just be eating, like eating snacks. Like a lot of people don't look at it as an issue because I'm thin. And they're like, you, you can eat all you want, but it's like, that's not good. Oh shit. And I'll go back to sleep. <coughs> go back to sleep. <sighs> you know it's like five o'clock. It's not time to wake up. Thank you.